Ever found yourself feeling inexplicably guilty in a relationship, even when you've done nothing wrong? This uncomfortable sensation might not be your fault at all. Instead, you could be falling prey to a manipulation tactic known as narcissistic guilt tripping. Let's delve into the intricacies of this psychological maneuver. Narcissists are notorious for their expertise in guilt tripping, using it as a powerful tool to gain control and exert power in relationships. They employ a range of strategies to achieve this. Firstly, narcissists are masters at playing the victim. They have a knack for painting themselves as the wrong party, often exaggerating or even fabricating stories to evoke sympathy and guilt. They might tell tales of woe or spin scenarios where they've been deeply wronged, all designed to make you feel remorseful and thus more pliable. Another tactic often used by narcissists is withholding affection. They can turn cold and distant at the drop of a hat, making you feel responsible for their sudden unhappiness. This emotional withdrawal is designed to make you scramble to restore the peace, often at the cost of your own needs and comfort. Passive-aggressive comments are another arrow in the narcissist's quiver. These subtle criticisms or belittlements are designed to chip away at your self-esteem, making you feel inadequate and more likely to cater to their whims to gain approval. Finally, narcissists are not above issuing ultimatums. They may threaten to end the relationship or withhold something you desire to bend you to their will. These threats are often a desperate bid to maintain control and keep you dancing to their tune. These tactics may seem subtle, but they can have a profound impact on your emotional well-being. Recognizing them is the first step towards protecting yourself from their harmful effects. There's a lot more to unpack on this topic, so stay tuned as we delve deeper into understanding and navigating the murky waters of narcissistic guilt trips. Recognizing a narcissistic guilt trip can be the first step towards reclaiming your emotional autonomy. Let's delve into the common signs of narcissistic guilt trips. These manipulative tactics can often be subtle, making them hard to spot if you're not aware of what to look for. The first sign is a consistent focus on the narcissist's feelings. In these scenarios, conversations may revolve around their hurt, disappointment or anger, while completely disregarding your own feelings. It might seem as if your emotions are constantly sidelined or even invalidated in favor of their narrative. Next, we have unrealistic expectations. A narcissist may expect you to prioritize their needs and desires above all else, even at the expense of your own well-being. If you find yourself constantly bending over backwards to meet their demands, that's another telltale sign. A lack of empathy is another defining characteristic of a narcissist. They may show little to no understanding of your perspective or feelings. This could manifest as an inability to acknowledge your emotional experiences or a disregard for the impact of their actions on you. Shifting blame is a common tactic used in narcissistic guilt trips. The narcissist might blame you for their own problems or behavior, refusing to take accountability for their actions. This could leave you feeling responsible for their unhappiness, further adding to the guilt. Lastly, manipulative language is a key sign. Phrases such as you never or you always are often used to make you feel like you are constantly failing or not measuring up to their standards. This can chip away at your self-esteem and make you more susceptible to their manipulation. By recognizing these signs, you can begin to understand the dynamics at play and take steps to protect yourself. Remember, knowledge is power. You're not alone in this and it's okay to seek help. The road to emotional autonomy can be challenging, but it's a journey worth taking. Once you've identified a narcissistic guilt trip, what can you do about it? Indeed, it's a challenging predicament, but there are strategies you can employ to navigate these murky waters. Firstly, identify the manipulation. It's crucial to understand that guilt trips are a tool in the narcissist's arsenal, used to control and manipulate. Acknowledge the tactics they use, such as playing the victim or issuing ultimatums. Recognize these for what they are, manipulation tactics, and not reflections of your worth or ability. Secondly, set clear boundaries. Communicate what you're willing and not willing to do. Remember, it's okay to say no. You're not obligated to meet unrealistic expectations or prioritize a narcissist's needs over your own. Thirdly, don't take responsibility for the narcissist's emotions. This might be one of the hardest steps. Narcissists are experts at making you feel guilty for their unhappiness. 
But remember, you are not the creator of their emotions. Their feelings are their own responsibility, not yours. Next, avoid engaging in arguments. Narcissists thrive in conflict and engaging with them on their terms only escalates the situation. It's okay to walk away from a heated conversation or to refuse to engage in a discussion that's spiraling into a blame game. Focusing on your well-being is vital. Prioritize your emotional health and self-care. Take time for activities that you enjoy and that nourish your soul. It's not selfish to put yourself first. Lastly, don't hesitate to seek support. It can be incredibly helpful to talk to trusted friends, family or a therapist about what you're experiencing. You're not alone in this and there are people who can provide guidance and reassurance. Remember, you are not responsible for a narcissist's emotions or happiness and you deserve to be treated with respect. By recognizing narcissistic guilt trips and taking steps to protect yourself, you can avoid becoming a victim of their manipulation. Let's quickly recap what we've covered today. We've delved into the world of narcissistic guilt tripping, a powerful manipulation tactic often used by narcissists to control and dominate relationships. We've identified how narcissists play the victim, withhold affection, make passive-aggressive comments, and issue ultimatums to evoke guilt and compliance. We also explored how to spot these guilt trips. Key signs include a focus on the narcissist's feelings, unrealistic expectations, lack of empathy, shifting blame and manipulative language. Finally, we shared some effective strategies for dealing with these manipulations. These include identifying the tactics, setting boundaries, not taking responsibility for the narcissist's emotions, avoiding arguments, focusing on your well-being and seeking support from trusted sources. By understanding narcissistic guilt trips and taking steps to protect yourself, you can navigate relationships more confidently. And remember, if you're dealing with a narcissist, don't hesitate to seek professional help.